Good evening. It's Saturday, the 12th of July. You're tuned in to our 6 p.m. newscast coming to you from Arirang's news centre in Seoul. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this evening, the United States has expressed its full support for Japan's recent decision to revise the country's pacifist constitution to allow its military a more expanded role. U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel, who on Friday met with his Japanese counterpart in Washington, hailed the Abe administration's move as a landmark decision that will contribute to global security. Connie Lee reports. Japanese Defense Minister Itsunori Onedera received a warm welcome in Washington on Friday from U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel. The two defense chiefs were meeting at the Pentagon to reinforce their alliance. At a press conference after their talks, Hagel praised a Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's decision to revise the country's constitution so Japan's military can come to the aid of an ally under attack and do more than just self-defense. This bold, historic, landmark decision will enable Japan to significantly increase its contribution to regional and global security and expand its role on the world stage. Our government strongly supports uh, the decision made by uh, Prime Minister Abe and his cabinet. However, needing more time to prepare, the bills related to the collective defense legislation are now set to be processed next year instead of this fall as originally planned, according to Japan's chief cabinet secretary. In the meantime, Hegel and Onodera said they are working on revising the U.S.-Japan defense relationship made back in 1997. The Abe administration's decision to revise Japan's decades-old pacifist constitution is not only opposed by many within Japan, it's also been slammed by Korea and China, who say the power could be misused. Both countries suffered under Japanese imperial rule during World War II and are currently locked in territorial disputes with Tokyo. Speaking separately at a seminar in Washington, Onodera expressed interest in meeting with his South Korean counterpart at any time, but mainly to discuss the threats posed by North Korea. Connie Lee, Arirang News.